In this video of JavaScript, we are going to cover the cookies. As cookies is one of the very efficient way of maintaining the state on the client side. But before continuing with this state management thing, let's discuss what this is all about. Basically, when we work with any web application, for the server communication, we need to submit our page on the server side and then it comes back after submitting the data. In short, we call this process is a post back. So, for example, you have requested for a web form which came blank and you entered some of the values in each text box of that form. And finally, you can submit the value. Now, when you submit that particular value, this HTTP protocol, which is a backbone of the client server communication in any web application, this HTTP protocol will take the HT means hypertext of the particular page but the data which is associated with that web page which a user has entered will not be taken by this HTTP protocol. So in this round trip means in this post back process that data may get lost. So in order to not to do that we have to go for the state management. So Whenever you will go for any of the web development technology, in each technology you will find something related to this state management. And here in JavaScript, since we are working on the client side scripting, so here we will do the client side state management using the cookies. So whenever I talk about this cookie, that simply means I am going to create a text file on the client's machine and the location of the text file may vary from browser to browser as each browser has its specific path to store the data. Whenever a user revisits the web page, some of the data may get read from the cookie as it is a text file. So even if you will shut down your PC or you will sign out from that web application or you will close the browser, that file may still be there. So in order to that we can go for the cookies here we have two types of cookies such as the session cookie or persistent cookie session cookie is something which doesn't have a lifetime means as soon as you will start communicating with the web application your cookie will be generated and will work only for that specific session but you may also add a time span which will make it a persistent cookie and as soon as the lifetime of that cookie is there, that cookie will still be there unless and until you will remove it manually by going at that location or you may also remove the cookies from the browser itself. So let's find out practically how can we start implementing the cookies in JavaScript. So here in the implementation of cookies, what I have done, I have taken a very simple form in which a single text box in which I am asking for the name and a button on clicking on which I will create a cookie. So as you can see on the click event of this button, I am calling a method called write cookie and here is inside this uh, head in script tag, we have the write cookie method. Inside this what we are doing is if the text box value is blank I am just giving an alert and terminating this function because I want that there must be some name in the text box before someone clicks on the button. Once a user will enter some value into the text box and whatever the value it will enter that will store in the cookie value alright. So here you can see like document means this complete page dot my form the name of this form dot customer customer is what customer is the name of this text box dot value alright so we are actually getting that particular value and with a semicolon I will assign that particular value in this cookie value variable I haven't defined that you can do that as well like where cookie value is equal to this it will not make any different now after that what I'll do, I'll just take the document object and here I will use the cookie property of it. And here uh, what I'll do is I will write name is equal to name is just a uh, fixed literal string. And I'll concatenate that particular thing with this cookie value means whatever we have got from the text box. 
and later I will simply print the value of that cookie alright so once you will use this document dot cookie it will actually create a text file in the uh, your system as per the browser means uh, next time when you will be back on this particular website you can see that stored value so let's execute this page so here you can see there's a text box if I will say click uh, and enter some value because the text box is blank now I will enter like Anadi I'll say set value and here you see uh, setting cookies name is equal to Anadi alright the value means whatever I have entered in the text box so this is how you can start working with the cookies in the JavaScript